All my life I've been uh, an investigative journalist. Um, I suppose you can't do a job like that without thinking independently. Uh, and it's taught me that you've really got to learn to uh, think for yourself. You've got to actually find out for yourself what's really going on and take a position. And when you've taken a position, you need to, if it's important, do something about it because it's your duty as a citizen of this world to make a difference. Hello, welcome back people um, to another Oz vlog. This is my granddad, um, one of the people that inspires me um, to think outside the box, be adventurous and to not give up. So um, I just wanted to share his view on finding your own path, questioning things, being inquisitive and using this information to follow and pursue your own dreams in your own time with your own knowledge. What's... Alright, I'm hoping this is actually recording my face because right now I can't see what's on the camera. So what I do kind of, when I finish the market is I kind of uh, tend to kind of look around for some environmental shots, like, because I like to show you guys how I take in my environment, you know, the details of, uh, that makes London, London and such a great place to live in. Um, the little kind of uh, pockets of culture, of, uh, yeah, of ambience that make it such a kind of melting pot. Yeah, sometimes it's nice to just sit and take in the sunshine and have a break from all the madness. Back to the grind. Excuse the um Excuse the eating. However, I noticed on some of the comments on the previous vlog that um, some of you guys wanted to see some more stuff on nutrition. Now, what I will do is kind of break down what I've discovered more recently about kind of uh, how I better perform with regard to health and nutrition. One of the things, first things is keeping down um, your sugars, your sugary sweets and you know, even sugary fruits. I mean, right now I'm eating a soursop um, and for me it's kind of like a treat. Um, you know, I just wanted something a little bit sweet, but I, I, I stay, you know, these are, this is a very far and few between time. Like I don't tend to eat these often. I don't tend to eat a lot of sweet fruits. If I'm gonna eat any fruits, I usually have berries, a bit more tart, just because they're rich in antioxidants. So they're great cleansers. Um, and I know a lot of people out there are pushing a lot of sweet fruits, sugars, etc. But what I find with um, making your body sugar adapted or sugar dependent, even though it's fructose, not glucose, it's a fruit sugar, what I find is that my energy levels are a lot more up and down. Whereas if I increase uh, the fats in my diet, I end up with a longer sustained, like slow burning energy. So I end up, you know, less lethargic, uh, less weak at the times when I need it, less confused, less brain fog. Everything seems to be operating a lot more efficiently. One of the second things that I've learned more recently oh, sorry, it's kind of, is also um, to try and eliminate a lot of these anti-nutrients from your diet if you can. This is just, again, this is just my perspective. And one of the things I tend to avoid a lot more now is seeds. They're actually anti-nutrients. We don't really get anything from them. They've got a high phytic acid content. And you can Google um, basically what phytic acid is if you, want, if you want. I don't really introduce uh, seeds to my diet just because of this. It, again, it kind of, 
it's like I'm eating food but I'm not getting any, any benefit from it and what you want to try to do I think is try to eat foods that are nutrient dense and have a fair trade off when it comes to acidity so if you're eating things that are a little bit more acidic or more difficult for your body to digest you've got to look at it from the perspective is from the perspective of is the trade-off fair so the benefits that you're getting from that particular food is the trade-off of the negative impact that it might have on your body is it fair is it once you evaluate it kind of uh, overall and if you view things in this way that will hopefully allow you to take a more practical approach to food nutrition and your diet because remember each one of us are different um, we're all going to digest and break down things in a slightly different way based on you know partially epigenetics you know your culture uh, where you come from where your ancestors come from um, as well as your daily habits and your family's habits etc etc also the environment that you live in as well i'm trying to actually see myself here all right yes yes people again hi um basically oh yeah what i, what I forgot to speak about earlier well, there's two things, uh, again on the topic of, see, see, see my face. two things on the topic of um, like nutrition or your approach to nutrition and health and uh, eating and diet and all these types of things, yeah? What I wanted to kind of say, the first thing is um, just warn you guys um, when you go into health food stores, half, uh, when you go into health food stores, half of what is in there is just pretty packaging and marketing so when you go into a health food store it's the same as going into any supermarket be very targeted with uh what you want to buy and what you're looking for because you're going to end up otherwise leaving you know with things that you don't need and a lot of it is just yeah again you're paying for the packaging also research the companies that you're purchasing from as well um look into detail as to uh their ethics how how they grow or harvest whatever they're selling um, and, and what percentage of what you need is actually in the product that they're selling as well because a lot of these times they dilute things down. So again, um, it's up to you guys to um, you know do uh, your own research, your own independent research. I don't want to pass uh, on information to you that um, as as you know as gospel or whatever. Um, you, I, I really like. I really recommend going out there um, and researching things for yourself um, and um, documenting also the impact that it has on your, your health and your well-being. You know, um, if it doesn't work for you, don't continue using it because it's a waste of money. Find something else that does work for you. So, um, again, this vlog is going to be kind of a lot more information, etc. Um, I'm trying to make, because you know, my life is pretty mundane at the moment, it's pretty much going to the market every day, coming home, uh, catching up with editing, uh, putting together books, uh, designing clothing, uh, trying to eat some food where I can, trying to get some sleep. So I'm trying to make things as exciting as possible. Um, what I'll also do in these vlogs is I'll include some more content from uh, people that I know that um, I mean think uh, you know I've got planned with a uh, with a BJJ guy, a guy who does Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, who's going to help me run through the, some of the basics of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So. Again, uh, please comment, let me know what you want to see more of in, in, this, in this content. I'm going to keep on vlogging. And everybody, uh, enjoy and have a wonderful uh, evening, morning, afternoon, depending on where you are in the world. Try life. What's I am very pleased to see so many who have come out to always uh, see for yourself where you can hear for yourself and then think for yourself. Then you'll be in a better position to make an intelligent judgment for yourself. But if you form the habit of listening to what others say about something or someone or reading what someone else has written about someone, somebody can uh, confuse you and misuse you.